guys ain't got nothing, man. This game is ours. All ours, baby. Yeah. And he's taken a few shots at the other team already to get his teammates wrapped up. Will it end tonight? That's the question as one team battles to shut the door in the season. Another hopes to stave off defeat. The NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. Kevin Harlan here with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. It's great to have you with us. It's the Chicago Bulls and the Portland Trail Blazers. And brought to you by State Farm, a chance here to look at the starting lineups. And guys, check it out, Damian Lillard. What can we expect here? You know, he might not have been the most recognized face in college basketball, but don't be fooled. Damian Lillard knows how to slither his way into the lane and get points. Let the nation win scoring for a reason. This guy can really play. And even though, Steve, he's on the smaller end of the scale in terms of his size, he absorbs contact pretty well and has nice change of pace. He's going to surprise some people with how productive he is. You look at Portland. They want to end it tonight. Up three games to one. They're looking to hoist the trophy in front of their hometown crowd. Well, Kevin, they want to win this championship right here tonight in their own building. It gets a whole lot more interesting if they let this one slip away and have to try to do it on the road. Well, Steve, they've controlled this series so far, and I'm expecting them to be raising the trophy four quarters from now. They won't get it without a fight as well as it should be that way but I think they're going to get it. Now, here's Lillard. After the miss by Lou all day. Got that bucket in in no time at all. Lillard's got his first basket. Chicago with the ball. Four-point game. Coming to this one after winning on Tuesday. And whether their defense caused it or not in that game, I remember that it was a cold night for the offense they were facing, Clark. Yeah, you know, watching that game, it didn't seem like they did anything spectacular defensively. But then you look at the numbers, and obviously they were doing a lot of things right. Here's Rose. One Rose shot is good. Now Lillard, right now averaging seven points a game. Back to Aldridge. Aldridge left side. Here's Lillard. That one goes. Come on. Lillard's got his second bucket of the game to go. Three straight makes to start this game. Looking good. And here's Rose. Averaging 10 points per contest. Back to Dan. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Here's Monroe. Puts the fade away right on the money. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. Here's the beast. Monroe on him. And that one's good. Four straight makes out of the gate. That's a sweet start. The Bulls have gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Crawford outside. He dishes it to Monroe. Back to Crawford. In low to Fareed. Aldridge is there. They kick out to Dang. Five on the clock. There's Crawford with the three. Crawford missing again. Trailblazers leading by four. Now go to Doris Burke, who spoke with Tom Thibodeau. Doris? I asked him if he would change anything with their backs against the wall, and he told me that they'll make a few adjustments, but not to expect any sweeping changes saying essentially we aren't going to climb back down three to one by changing our strikes we just have to get a little tougher a little smarter out on the floor no major switches for this team guys thanks a lot doris they're clicking offensively a nice rhythm here coming out strong shooting an excellent percentage that's why they've got the lead goes off the bit from three rose with the ball miller picks him up outside rose The Trailblazers have gotten in one of their first six shots to fall today. Here's Stenson. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Bulls trail by six. Shoots over Lillard. Crawford, no luck. Here's the beast. Monroe on him. 
Here's the beast, and that one's good. I like it. He could have gone for the forced finish, but opted instead for kind of a nice, smooth finger roll. I like it. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. I've got to find some. You're right. And it's Rose penetrating. That's good. Well, he's one of their anchors at the offensive end, guys, because he can make plays like that all the time. Spencer guarded by Crawford. Again, the Trailblazers score. Here's Rose. 34 seconds left in the first. Dang up top. Shoots over the two. That's good from Dang on the assist by Rose. 23 seconds left to play here in the first. Now, here's Lillard. He's covered by Rose. Aldridge kicks to Batum. Tipped. Here's the beast. Got it. Good job in the low post. The beast's got six. He is always so in control. Guys. He's always going hard to the hoop. Very skilled finisher. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Trailblazers lead by eight. We'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. The Beast, working on Gasol. He kicks to Lillard. Here's the Beast, defended by Gasol. The Beast, and that one's good. The Beast's got eight points. Love the finish there. Not much defense, though. So the Bulls five right now. Bulls and Brewer on the one and two. Greg Monroe is out there with Mark Gasol. And it's Dang in at the three zone. And it's Rose penetrating. And again, Chicago. No good. He can't find anything out there. And his misses are really hurting this team. That's good. Westbrook's got his first bucket of the night. Carving him up inside there, Kevin. I mean, the defense has been vulnerable in there. Yeah, that's three straight field goals in the paint area. That's really good offense. The shot's good from Gasol. Trailblazers leading by six. Now let's send it to Doris from the sideline. Thanks, Kevin. The Beast in their last matchup against the Bulls was simply terrific. He had 20 points and collected six huge rebounds to go with that. A game like this just illustrates the success this team has enjoyed this season. What a special year, guys. Okay, Doris, thanks. Great report on... What was Clark an outstanding performance? Kevin, he was simply on fire. These are the kinds of games that define truly great NBA careers. Yeah, you could see from the beginning. He just uh, seemed to, to have it. You know, he was on his game and he remained aggressive throughout in what was really a great win. They continue to barrel their way inside. And when's the defense going to adjust? Well, I'm asking the same question myself, but I mean, that's eight points out of the last ten coming inside. Monroe's shot is good. Well, it was a dismal start from the field for them in the first quarter, but they're finally starting to turn it around. Well, I don't think it could have gotten any worse, partner. I mean, you figure they had all their bad misses out of the way and should be good to go now. Good! The Beasts got six here in this quarter. And all ten of their last points have come inside the paint, so defensively, you've got to make an adjustment. You gotta do a little more to stop it too. I mean, it's coming way too easy for him. At some point, you just gotta buck up and say it's not gonna happen. Lillard, the pass to the tune. Outside Westbrook. To the middle. Here's the beast, defended by Gasol. Rebound by Greg Monroe. The defense got away with one there. I mean, usually he'll hurt you if you give him that kind of a shot. Rose goes in. The kick out to Dan. Gasol. Teardrop shot. Here's Monroe. And he throws it down with one hand. 
Well, he's an effort guy, Kevin. You know, and so often his points come from second or third chance opportunities by hitting the glass and really staying relentless in his pursuit of the basketball. And he is also so good at getting his hands on the ball without foul. And the opposing player is on his way to the hoop. That's a real net. Excellent hand-eye coordination makes that possible for him. Four on the shot clock. Here's the beast. Here's Westbrook. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Well, you allow them to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, I think you got to foul them and free throws are better than a layup. The Trailblazers shoot their first free throw. And we finish one half of basketball. It's the Trailblazers now. Presented by Sprint. So much at stake here in Game 5 of the Finals. Let's get right to the halftime report. Portland with the lead against Chicago. There's no doubt they're sitting in their locker room thinking they're a half away from an NBA championship. The Beast, unreal in the first half. Consistent shooting from the field, making well over 65% of his shots. Not a lot of guys put up a half a basketball like that. And for the Bulls, they're still gutting it out. They've given up a ton of offensive rebounds, just not putting forth enough effort to clean the glass. A trying first half for Jamal Crawford. Everything's been rimming out for him. He's got to be frustrated. Thanks so much for being with us. Now back to Portland as the third quarter gets underway. And welcome back to our presentation of the NBA Finals as we get going again. What can you say the Beast? An impressive effort here today. Yeah, he's done a great job of finding the soft spots in that defense. A very efficient game for him so far. Yeah, and I like what he's done, Steve. I mean, he's made a couple of jumpers here or there, but what he's really done impressively is allow the game to come to him. But Toom and Aldridge are small and powerful. And it's the Beast. Then it's Damian Lillard. That's the group on the floor for Portland. Crawford kicks to Rose. And stolen by Lillard. Benson, guarded by Crawford. Here's the beast. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. The Trailblazers have had two chances at the line already, making them both. And the first one drops. Both shots good from the strike. I'm always impressed by big men who shoot free throws as well as he does. For some reason, they're rare. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. Here's Crawford. Tight defense on him. Lillard with the rebound. And that's the way it's been. A big margin for them in the rebounding category. You know, sometimes you got to get down and dirty and do the dirty work. And in this one, they've done it, and it's paid off on the scoreboard in a big way. Rose kicks to Monroe. Back to Rose. Passes it to Crawford. They get it again. And for Reed, throws it down. Step aside, step aside. We've got the big fella coming through. That is, that is a powerful brand of basketball right there. Man, an amazing putback. You just love the effort from this guy. Here's Svensson and the Trailblazers getting another bucket right there. It's been all makes for him so far this half. Three chances and three conversions so far. Crawford kicks to Dane. Defended by Batum. Crawford's shot is good. That jump shot's like a layup for him when the defense backs off like that. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Here's the beast. Monroe on him. Here's Stenson. It's blocked. Gets it to go. And they keep going right back to the paint. And who can blame them? I mean, they're getting it done in there. Yeah, three of their last five buckets, guys, have come from inside the lane area, so I expect them to continue to go inside right at the defense. Rose gets to Monroe. Back to Rose. Crawford outside. From downtown, Crawford missing again. A very rough quarter for him. There's not much is falling right now. Here's Stenson. But they will cover it. Things are finally turning around for him. He's looked pretty good here in this half. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Crawford dishes to Fareed. The dish to Monroe. Bulls moving the ball around. 
denied the shoot. Portland grabs the miss. And here's Portland. They're on a 12 to 4 run. To the inside, the Beast drops in the way for two. The Beast's got 16 points. Now they've got to offer more resistance inside. Just too many easy buckets in the paint. Yeah, Steven, that's the top priority for any defense. you got to protect the paint. Rose gets to Crawford. Monroe sets a screen for Crawford. And hits one. Maybe he's ready to get back on track. Crawford's got four points now in the quarter. Not much resistance for him after that pick, Kevin. I mean, he had all sorts of space to hit the shot. Here's the beast. Monroe on him. Here's the beast. Rebounded by Greg Monroe. Monroe's got his fourth rebound in this one. Monroe's throws it down hard. Major courage on display right there in that situation to go reverse. I don't think he knows you're not supposed to do that in traffic. <laughs> well, don't tell him because I want to see it again. The Sprite replay really gave you a good look at the action. Here's the Beast, covered by Monroe. Gets it to go. The Beast's got 18 points. Well, that's been nice, efficient work, guys, that he's been doing. I mean, we haven't seen him take many bad shots, and that's the sign of a mature, poised player. Crawford's shot is good. Seems to be recovering after that rough first half. Really starting to play well here. Now, here's Lillard. He's covered by Rhodes. Outside Aldridge. Here's the Beast. Monroe on him. The feed now to Batum. Good on the shot. And the Trailblazers lead by 13. Right now, they're just pillow-like inside. Way too soft. Too many looks at and around the loop. Yeah, I'm totally agree, Bart. Ten of the last 12 points now that they surrendered have come inside that lane area. Here's the Beast. He's key from down. Well, three, three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. While we're still getting underway here in the fourth, let's go down to Doris Burke, who has our strike, uncontainable game report. Doris? Thank you, Kev. And as you might have guessed, the uncontainable game today, the Portland Trailblazers. No problems for them so far in this one, as they have played a seamless game. You'll have to think they'll be able to keep it going here in the fourth. Thanks, Doris. Here is Rose. On the court for the Bulls, getting his fourth quarter start. Derrick Rose is out there with Crawford. Then there's Kenneth Fareed. Then it's Dan, and it's Monroe in at the center position. Takes it to Rose, shoots it, and the Bulls tap on two more. Man, they are both lighting it up here. Exciting basketball, Steve. I mean, it's been back and forth each side, dropping in points every chance they get. Pass to over. Fareed on him. Here's the Beast. From the right block, the shot is good. The Beast's got 10. Got such a good feel for the shot. They had a really big move. Rose hits the Crawford. Feeds it to Monroe. From 12 feet out, Lillard with the rebound. Lillard's got four rebounds now tonight. And this is why they have the big lead. The rebounding has been dominant. You know, guys, the uh, plus eight rebounding, I don't think it tells the whole story. I mean, they've been the more physical team from the outset. That's been the difference, that physicality. You see the defenders get out of his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the bucket, but not that time. Offensive rebound. Here's the beast. That's good. And two points for him. The lift they've gotten from him today has been huge. I mean, he's been steady offensively, and he's helped them get out in front here so far. Doris Burke has some information for us. Doris? Thanks, Kevin. Tom Thibodeau had some words for his team in that last huddle. He was emphatic. We're not getting it done, fellas. We've simply got to step up, get engaged, and try to battle back. Guys, we'll see if the pep talk gets him going. Here's Kareem. Foul call that time on the way up. Better get two chances at the free throw down here. Well, he attacks the ball, he 
attacks the glass, plays hard on every possession. And that's just the kind of player he is. It, it's in his nature. He, he can't help but hustle after missed shots, and he's willing to battle for rebounds and loose balls with anybody. And there's no backing down with Fury. Bulls trail by 11. And a foul brought on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And he knocks down the first one. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Here's the Beast. Working on Gasol. Followed by Crawford. Here's the Beast. Defended by Gasol. The Beast's got 12 points here in the second half. They are in attack mode right now. That's 10 straight points, guys, all coming inside the team. I say, if I'm them, I, I keep going right to the heart of that defense like they have been until they do something about it. They don't offer resistance. Take everything you can get in there. Gets it to go. And the Trailblazers lead by 13. Just too easy. They're getting whatever they want down there. You said it, Steve. Five straight field goals inside for them. The defense has to clamp down here. Parsons passes to Gasol. Rose. There's Crawford with the three. Crawford missing again. Boy, oh, they've really won the battle of the boards in this one, Kevin. Now, here's Lillard. He's going closely. Gasol with the block. It's Crawford on the wing. Back to Rose. Well defended, and he's not someone who responds well to that kind of defensive pressure. Here's the Beast, working on Gasol. Here's the Beast, and Castle Reed pulls it down. Bulls trail by 13. Dishes it to Crawford. The three ball. Crawford missing again. He just can't get a good feel for his shot at this point. That's one of the reasons they're losing. The Beast, and that one's good. The Beasts got eight here in the quarter. No question, they're trying to pound the ball inside. That's five straight hoops inside. And if the D won't stop it, keep at it. I mean, those are the kind of looks you want all day long. Three, no good. That was a layup. I mean, you've got to knock that down. You've got to convert when you get those opportunities. Lillard dishes to Aldridge. Lillard defended by Gasol. And the basket by Lillard. And they're closing this game out in style. Yeah. I like what they're doing here, competing till the very end. That's certainly what it looks like. I mean, there's no let-up on him so far. Tell you what, guys, his size really comes into play when there's a rebound battle going on. He's got an advantage in there. No luck. Nice D from Rhodes. The Bulls shooting 41% of the game. He feeds it to Crawford. And they get it. Crawford missing again. He has just disappeared this quarter, not making a mark at all offensively. And I'm sure he's ready to put this quarter behind him and quickly. Good. And the Trailblazers lead by 19. I think we can chalk this one up. The goal now is just to run some time. Yeah, I think it's time to get the bus started now, boys. And it's the Trailblazers on the break. It looks like this one's over. They really played well tonight. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, we can take it out of the oven. This game is cooked. This is the light at the end of the tunnel. And there's something so special, Kevin, about winning it at home in front of your fans who have kind of ridden that roller coaster with you, gone through all the adversity, the ups and downs, the emotions. And when you finally get that championship, it is so special when you can enjoy it with your home crowd. We now turn our attention to the middle of the floor, to the presentation of the Larry O'Brien Trophy with the NBA commissioner, David Stern. 
I am honored to stay in here with two extraordinary teams who showed us NBA basketball at its best throughout these five games of the finals. Tonight, there is one team which has realized its goal to become NBA champions. Congratulations to the players, the coaching staff, and the fans of this year's NBA champions. This is the moment you dream about growing up as a kid. I mean, this is something that each and every one of these players will remember forever. From the owner of the team all the way down to the ball boys, you have to hand it to the entire organization, Steve. They work together to get right here. And what better way, Kevin, to give back to the loyal fans of this franchise than to finish out this series, this whole playoff run, actually, in front of the home crowd. What a night. And now the presentation for the Bill Russell Finals MVP Award. Let's go to NBA Commissioner David Stern. A tremendously talented player and deserving of the award name for Bill Russell, the ultimate champion. Congratulations to the winner of the Bill Russell NBA Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Mark, I can speak for myself, but hasn't this been a tremendous playoffs? It really has been, Kevin. I mean, you never know when you start the postseason what you're in store for, how things will turn up. But we now all know what the end result was. Steve, I know you've enjoyed every second of this series. Yeah, it's been phenomenal to watch, Kevin. And, and what impresses me the most is, you know, the NBA playoffs are such a grind. Uh, to win it all, to go through so much adversity, the roller coaster ride of emotions, and now all of a sudden this team uh, can just relax and let out everything and enjoy the night. And we have enjoyed our time with you folks all season long. For Doris Burke, Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and the entire 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying so long. Have a wonderful summer. Congrats on the title. You kept them at bay pretty well this series, and the outcome really wasn't all that close. Did it feel like you were the better team throughout? Oh yeah, baby, absolutely. I thought it was pretty clear from the beginning of game one that it was gonna be a long series for them. You can see the kind of talent we have and how they were really overmatched in almost every way, man. So I give them all the credit in the world for getting here, but sorry you had to run into the juggernaut that is us. <laughs> Maybe next year, fellas.